are you serious? Are you serious? I can't. This is so horrific. I can't even believe I heard this. But uh, of course, you guys know that they're every year the uh, the Burning Man Festival uh, that takes place out at Black Rock Desert. Uh, last night they were having the festival. They burned this huge effigy of a burning man. Okay, uh, it's always held every year out in the middle of the desert in Nevada. But last night, tragedy: a man broke through the security, past the firefighters, and ran and dove into the burning effigy uh, at the famous festival in Nevada. He just ran and dove in. Astonishingly, I mean, thousands of people were there watching. Uh, He was pulled from the inferno and taken to the hospital, but later died. Around 70,000 people attended the gathering in the Black Rock Desert. And one of the main highlights, of course, of the festival is the burning of the huge wooden statue. But as the crowds were watching Saturday night, last night, this man dodged security, the firefighters, and took off running toward the flaming structure, and he jumped into the flames. Why? Why? Now, a lot of pagan worship goes on in this. This is what this is all about, is pagan worship. And the spirit of darkness and and the demonic forces that are at work here, folks, will cause anything to happen. Emergency services managed to drag the man from the flames, and he was airlifted to a special burns unit at the University of California, where Davis, at the University of California Davis Hospital, But he died today suffering from this horrific event. The festival said in a statement approximately at 1030 last night in the evening, this male participant at the annual Burning Man event in northern Nevada broke through the safety perimeter and ran into the fire. Black Rock City fire personnel rescued him, but the individual was treated on the scene, transported to the on-site medical facilities, and airlifted to a burn center, as I said. Tens of thousands of people from all over the world go to the Burning Man Festival every year. The event is described as, uh, look, folks, I mean, look, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a thing. They do what they say for art, for self-expression, self-reliance. It's a festival, but it's really a place of pagan, pagan worship. And uh, please pray. Pray for the family of the man, first of all. And then second of all, pray for the people who are being drawn by these demonic forces. And I can't wait to ask uh, Russ Dizdar about this one and, and, and let him break down for us what type of demonic demons would, would do this. Now, you know, we've heard Russ Dizdar say many times how he was, uh, was going to take a, a large a huge knife and was going to stab himself in a ceremony uh, that he was having this uh, encounter with the spirit guides. And, and this is before he became a Christian and how close they, he and another man were with a suicide pack. They were going, they were going to sacrifice their bodies so that they could receive, uh, you know, Naverna, uh, uh, total peace in the process of death. I mean, this is, the things that people are wrapped up into. But man, are you serious? Are you serious? Guys, we'll talk about this tonight. We got to get into this as well as all this stuff going on. It's just unbelievable. Unbelievable. Give your life to Jesus Christ and really have peace. You're not going to find it running into a burning flames. 